Bible John is a name given to an unidentified serial killer believed to be responsible for the murders of three young women in Glasgow, Scotland, between 1968 and 1969. The case of Bible John remains one of Scotland's most infamous unsolved crimes, with a blend of mystery, fear, and intrigue that continues to fascinate both the public and law enforcement. The Murders and Investigation The pattern of the murders was chillingly similar. The victims, Patricia Docker, Jemima MacDonald, and Helen Puttock, were all young brunettes who had been out at the Barrowland Ballroom, a popular dance hall in Glasgow. Each was strangled, and their bodies were found the next day in different parts of the city. This eerie consistency in the killer's modus operandi led to widespread fear and paranoia, particularly among young women frequenting social venues. The investigation into these murders was extensive. Police interviewed thousands of people and collected numerous statements. However, the most significant lead came from Helen Puttock's murder. Helen had shared a taxi home with a man she met at the Barrowland Ballroom. Her sister, who was with them for part of the taxi ride, provided a detailed description of the man, including his peculiar conversation, which frequently referenced the Bible, leading to the nickname Bible John. The Public and Media Frenzy The case of Bible John captivated public attention. The media played a significant role in both aiding the investigation through widespread coverage and in fueling public fear. Newspapers were filled with updates, and the story was a constant topic of conversation in households across Scotland. The Mystery of Bible John Despite the extensive investigation, Bible John was never identified, and the case remains unsolved. Over the years, there have been numerous theories about his identity, including links to other crimes and potential suspects. One of the most discussed theories involves convicted serial killer Peter Tobin, who was in Glasgow at the time of the murders and bore a resemblance to the composite sketch of Bible John. However, no definitive evidence has ever been found linking Tobin or any other suspect to the crimes. The Legacy of the Case The Bible John murders had a lasting impact on Glasgow and Scotland as a whole. They prompted changes in policing methods, including how dance halls were monitored. The case also left a cultural imprint, inspiring books, documentaries, and television series, reflecting the public's enduring fascination with the mystery. The Bible John case remains a haunting chapter in Scottish criminal history. It's a stark reminder of the capacity for evil to lurk in everyday settings and the challenges faced by law enforcement in an era before advanced forensic technology. The unsolved nature of the case continues to provoke intrigue and speculation, keeping the story of Bible John alive in the public consciousness. The enduring mystery of Bible John has led to various psychological profiles over the years. Profilers have suggested that the killer was likely a highly intelligent individual with a deep knowledge of the Bible, possibly using religious justification for his actions. This aspect added a further layer of complexity to the case as it suggested a killer who was not only methodical but also potentially blending in with the general populace without raising suspicion. The challenges faced by the police during the investigation were significant. The 1960s did not have the advanced forensic technology available today, such as DNA profiling. The investigation relied heavily on eyewitness accounts and the limited forensic evidence available at the time. This lack of advanced technology meant that despite the enormous effort put into the investigation, crucial evidence might have been missed or simply unobtainable. Community Impact and police response. The Bible John murders had a profound impact on the community in Glasgow. 
It changed the way people socialized, with many young women avoiding dance halls like the Barrowland Ballroom, which had been a hub of social life. The fear instilled by these crimes was palpable, and it led to a more cautious and suspicious community. In response to the murders, the police increased their presence in areas like the Barrowland Ballroom and implemented new strategies for investigating serious crimes. Community policing efforts were also intensified to reassure the public and gather more information from the public. The Cultural and Societal Reflection The case of Bible John reflects broader societal themes and concerns. It highlights issues of women's safety, police and media relationships, and the public's fascination with unsolved mysteries. The media coverage of the case, while helpful in some respects, also raised questions about the impact of sensational reporting on public perception and the investigation itself. Today, the Bible John case remains a topic of interest for criminologists.